Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and demoing the brand new Fenty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzer and Blushes. So if you are interested in seeing how they work, getting some tips on application and everything else I have to offer, then just keep watching. By the way, I don't have anything on my face yet. I'm going to be demoing it for you guys in this review. But yes, Fenty has finally released cream bronzers and cream blushes. I was so excited for these because I always felt like their matchsticks had so much potential to run the beauty industry. They just had the most unique colors, the most fun finishes and just like a great range overall so versatile but their formula was so dry that it just it would, ugh, if they reformulated those I genuinely believe that they could be a huge heavy hitter in the industry but you know what unfortunately they are dry and nobody really uses them right hardly I barely see anybody use them so I was so excited to see what they came out with as far as this cream formulation so I ended up picking up two bronzers and three black I'm gonna tell you the mistakes I made, some shades I would have got instead of some other shades that I got, and just how I prefer application and all of that. Now, if you want an extremely in-depth review and tips also on application, how to use cream products in general, and just an overview of all 10 shades, please check out my friend Kelsey Brianna J's video. She also has a deeper complexion than myself as well, so you also get to view the shades on a deeper complexion versus on my little pasty complexion. So definitely definitely want to direct you towards her video because hers was extremely informative and very helpful because in this video I'm going to be applying these cream products based on how I personally like to apply them and what works for me. There were a couple ways that I found worked better than others so it's not just one type of application but I'll explain as we go. Obviously there hasn't been very many releases at this time for good reason of course. So this Fenty launch is one of the bigger launches right now probably the biggest just because it's kind of crickets right now, as it should be. But that's why I wanted to cover this. Even though it's a couple days later than I would have liked to have gotten this video up, I can't complain about the shipping. It is what it is. Everything, the world is going crazy right now. So, so I finally have them. I'm very excited to share with you guys some useful information, I believe. So, let's quickly go over what I actually do have in my possession and, and the colors you'll see in action. So I picked up two of the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronzers and I have Amber and Butter Biscuit. <laughs> and then I picked up three of the Cheeks Out Blushes. So I have Petal Poppin, Cool Berry, and rose latte for a comparison the cream bronzers they have a gold packaging with the cream name on them they're that kind of typical fenty octagon packaging and then the cream blushes they also say cream but it's white and as you can see these blushes are like minuscule they're so tiny they're adorable i was definitely not expecting them to be so tiny the bronzers have 6.23 grams of product whereas the blushes have three grams of product the bronzers are 32 and the blushes are 20 honestly i'm surprised at the price of the blushes i think they're quite affordable i mean they are still 20 dollars of course but just based on how much luxury makeup i buy 20 dollars is not bad i think i would have preferred a little less product for the bronzer than to pay 32 dollars but that's just that's just me so let's actually get into the product i'm gonna start off by demoing the bronzers. Currently, I have zero bits of powder on my face. I just thought it would be easier in case I needed to take anything off to demo different colors, different techniques. The formula of these products are extremely emollient, and honestly, I just wouldn't put them on top of powder. I feel like they can get really patchy and gross with powder underneath. Just with any other cream, like I would suggest, make sure you don't set your face before you apply these. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see a little better. So we're gonna talk about the two colors that I picked up. So in the line, it looks like there are seven shades for the bronzers. I picked out Amber and Butter Biscuit. So I wasn't sure if I wanted Butter Biscuit, which was number two for fair to light skin tones, or macchiato, which is number three for light to medium skin tones. What I did know was I wanted amber because it is described as a contour shade. It is a cool undertone for fair skin tones. I don't have a fair skin tone. I'm more light to medium, but I was like a really cool, specifically contour shade. I was expecting it to work as a contour shade for light skin tones. She's gray. Like, <laughs> this is the color of cement and it's just not what I was expecting. I mean, 
To be fair, on the website, it's a contour cool undertone for fair skins. I felt like they could have specified a little bit more about how gray it was. So for a color like this, it is going to work on very, very, very fair skin tones, almost like translucent. But honestly, unless you're a makeup artist, I just don't find this to be very easy for a consumer. Even for me, like technically, yeah, I'm a makeup artist, but I I wouldn't use this color. I really wouldn't. On the website, it just doesn't look as gray. It looks like it's going to be a little bit more brown. And then when I put it on my skin, she's gray and it's not a flattering look. So just beware, okay? I'm warning you now. I learned the hard way. <laughs> And then, as far as the Butter Biscuits shade, this is a decent shade for me. I definitely think it's for fair to light skin tones. After playing around with this, I think Macchiato would have been a better match for me, but I can make this work from the information that I've collected from other reviews. These bronzers do run a little bit more on the sheer side, so it might be best to kind of shade up if you are kind of battling between two shades. So I might actually go back and order Macchiato. Butter Biscuit does work for me, and you'll see, but I I just apply it differently than I would if I had macchiato. So we are going to start off with amber. Now as far as the consistency of these cream products go, they are very emollient. They don't turn to a powder finish. They stay as creams. So you might want to set your bronzer with a little bit of extra added bronzer on top. And when I say light, I mean a light amount. Like tap off your brush and then just lightly use it to set the bronzer. Otherwise you're gonna look crazy because the powder and all that pigment is gonna stick to this cream. So just use with caution once you set it. But <laughs> I'm gonna show you amber, which like I said, this was not a good call on my part. This is for a very small amount of people. I'm gonna use my sponge, okay? And I'm just gonna put it right into the hollow of my cheek. Now the reason this is so cool is because Gray tone colors, cool tone colors, they mimic shadows, whereas bronzers technically are just meant to mimic warmth and the sun. So the shadows are what is actually going to cut that definition into your skin. Now you will find with bronzers, yeah, you can say they contour and bronze at the same time, but when you play with really cool tones, that is the basic artistic concept of creating shadows and really changing the face. This pool's very gray on me if I were to use anything more dense than a sponge. And the sponge is about as undense as it comes. I start to look dirty. <laughs> if you guys saw my Instagram, I put the gray right down the middle and it looked like cement was on my face. So I'm just gonna keep it as minimal as possible but you can kind of see that small shadow that was created right in the hollow of my cheek. I honestly don't really see much use for this unless I scrape some out and mix it with a browner color to cool that color down. And then I feel more comfortable actually shading in my face with this. TBH, I don't really like it. Um, I'm gonna use a synthetic ABH A26 brush. Okay, this is a blending brush, so it's not gonna be as harsh. It's just gray. I look dirty, I look muddy. Don't make the same mistake that I did. This is gray, not like a contour, it's gray. Now let's get into something a little bit more positive, the Butter Biscuit. Now, like I said, I've noticed that this doesn't have the most amount of pigmentation. So I'm gonna take the butt of my sponge and I'm actually going to twist it in here to pick up more product and I'm gonna pat it on this side of my face. For me, I find sponges to be my favorite way to apply cream products. If you choose to use sponges, make sure you are constantly washing and cleaning them because it can get nasty up in a cream, okay? It can. So please wash your sponge. I wash mine every single use. Just keep a little bit of soap by your sink and rinse it off every time you go to wet it anyways. So as you can see, Butter Biscuit, like it does work on me. I wish I got a shade darker, but twisting that sponge to really get the product and pouncing it in really creates a natural shade to my face, which I really, really like. I just like sponges. I feel like they push into the skin better using a padding motion. It's not gonna move your foundation. This encourages you to use a padding motion and you just have a larger surface area to really evenly apply this product. Don't use your fingers to apply a cream bronzer there's too much surface area that you need to cover and it will become uneven so that's why I recommend a sponge because it's a large surface area because the shade is not as pigmented as I would like I am gonna show you with a brush 
Typically, like I said, I'm a sponge gal, but this calls for a brush. This is the Blinged Brushes F12. She's a fat brush, perfect for the cheeks. So I'm gonna pat it into here. Make sure it's a clean brush, please. And so this way you are gonna get a little bit more pigmentation because it's more dense, it's picking up more product. Try as hard as you can to continue to use those padding motions so that you don't disrupt the foundation. So that's how I find myself able to get a little bit more pigmentation from that but still i like to go in with my sponge and make sure that's all softened and it looks airbrushed into my skin i do like this formula i think it's nice it's very emollient it blends out very easily now if you're gonna ask me how this compares to other contour powders and contour creams i'll be honest i still prefer my huda and I still prefer my Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick. So this isn't my favorite cream formula, but it certainly does get the job done, and it leaves the skin with a very pretty dewy finish. Now, when I would use this over those other two brands that I just mentioned, it's more so for the color. So Butter Biscuit is a lot lighter than the other two that I have, so that is when I would use it when I want really light warmth added to my face. So overall, I think the cream bronzers are okay. There's nothing really bad I can say about it. I think because they are more a really creamy formula, and they're not the most pigmented there is a bit or can be a bit of a learning curve to it But I don't notice it disrupting my foundation or anything. So she gets the job done Let's move on to the blushes. These are of course what I was most excited about. I love blush I love a cream blush now. I think you guys have seen all of the colors in the range. She has very unique shades She has ten shades. I picked out three so I picked out petal popping which is a soft kind of baby pink I love pink blushes. Those are my blush colors of preference and then I picked up cool berry because I do a lot of cool toned looks so I thought that this would be perfect and then I picked out rose latte which is a little bit more of a neutral everyday kind of blush it looks really intimidating in the pan so here are the swatches so you can see in the order that I just named petal popping cool berry and rose latte as you can see just from the swatches they're very very shiny and they have that finish on the skin as well they are very plumping to the skin and they add just a lot of glow low and due to the skin so just be prepared for that for me the best way that I found to apply these are with the butt end of a sponge as well you can use your fingers fingers do a nice job of warming the product up and spreading it into the skin giving you a bit more pigmentation however I just love the even application that a sponge gives I will show you for example using a stippling brush I do enjoy stippling brushes as well for blush application but I love me a good sponge. So I'm going to start off by demoing petal popping for you. I'm going to use the brush first. Just so you can see how that works and just very lightly tap it out. Now when you are using a stippling brush, this is how I feel that I get the most natural and lightweight application. As you can see, patting, not swiping. I refuse to disrupt the foundation. That's one of my biggest pet peeves about cream products. If it disrupts my foundation, it goes in the garbage. So this is a really nice soft pink and it looks really healthy on the cheek as you can see it does still carry that sheen to the face which i think is beautiful but it can be bad for those of you with oily skin so i'm going to clean off my sponge really quick i'm just going to very lightly tap into petal popping just to kind of show you and add pigmentation if you use a th more of a fat synthetic brush you're going to get more coverage with the blush i just think i have so much more control when i use a sponge really really pretty i like petal popping a lot great everyday kind of color so let's move on to cool berry right here i'm just going to go straight in with my sponge for this i lightly twisted once and this one packs a lot of color so just be careful with this sponge i got some pigmentation if you use a brush it's gonna be a lot. These don't give really, really heavy coverage as far as pigmentation goes. It's still kind of sheer, but you can pack the color on, I found. So you have a lot of playroom when it comes to how much blush you want on your cheek. They are buildable, and I really like that. And so here is Cool Berry. It's a little bit more of a mauve tone to it. I didn't pack these on, so you really can't tell a huge difference, but I can tell here in person. This one I'm gonna definitely go to for a more cool tone look. Alright, so let's move on to the last one, Rose Latte. This one I find pulls a little bit more warm on the face. I think that this really mimics natural cheek color very, very well. So if you like that, I just played in the snow. I think this does a pretty good job of mimicking that. Like this is one that I would like to put over the center of my nose. I know I already have a little bit of blush on, but it's fine, we can layer. So I'm gonna put just a bit here. So as you can see, that instantly like brightened my face. 
I feel like I look like I just played in the snow or went for a run. I'm gonna put some right in the center of my nose here. I know it's a bit much. This is a blush demo. <laughs> it's fine, I promise. Oh my gosh, I love this color. This was not what I was expecting based on what was in the pan, but this one really just makes it look like you just went for a run. This is the most actual, like, natural human-like cheek color that they have. And all three of these have the same really emollient, shiny, not sticky texture to them as well. And they don't sit down either. My cheeks don't feel sticky, but you can tell it hasn't dried down. I'm going to zoom out real quick and we're going to talk about wear time. So as somebody with dry skin, I really enjoy the consistency of these products. I think it really complements my skin type very well. My oils all mesh well with this cream. However, if you have any type of oily skin, please set these products down because they don't set down themselves. Themselves. I see these being a great product just to throw on for the summer But if you are looking for any sort of wear time and you're wearing coverage on your face You can set them you could go through with a translucent powder You're gonna lose the glow that these cream products get so, th so that's also something you have to battle with like I love the glow that these products give me So for that reason, I'm not gonna set it, but I have to know I can't be going out for an important event for a long day These are just like summer throw-in kind of things for me if you want to set them you can use translucent powder you're going to lose some of that glow for the bronzer side i would say lightly tap into a bronzer tap it off and pat right over it you don't want too much of the color to stick to your face it's more so just to set that bronzer if you're looking to keep the glow i would go for a glowy bronzer to set it same things with the blush now if you really want a heavy blush go gung-ho with your powder blush because it's going to stick to that color but if you want something really light i would take a glowy blush pat it in once and just brush over it just to kind of set that face. A good mattifying setting spray and that is how you're going to get the long wear out of this. But definitely just be careful if you have oily skin. Do what you need to do to make it stay. I have dry skin. I love how natural this looks. I'm going to put up with a little bit of shininess because of this. I just love how natural and plump these make my skin look. Just so skin-like. So many of you guys are going to like this product. That is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you picked up any colors. I don't know if I should keep amber or not. It just was not what I was expecting. I definitely think I will be picking up macchiato. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for spending your morning with me or whenever time of the day you are watching this if you aren't subscribed to my channel i hope you take the time to do so and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one